1951, Madison Square Garden, New York. Joe Lewis, former world's heavyweight champion, on the comeback trail, meets Lee Sabol, the British Empire heavyweight champion, in a scheduled 10-round bout. Sabol with a white stripe on his trucks. Sabol weighs 190 pounds tonight, Lewis 212. The former champion has a 22-pound weight advantage. Square Garden jam-packed tonight. A capacity crowd of 20,000. This fight was originally scheduled for outdoors at the Polo Grounds two nights before. But continuous rain forced two postponements and it was finally decided to bring it indoors at Madison Square Garden. That caused a late terrific jam of customers at the box office tonight. And the fight had to be held up for a half hour. Joe Lewis, the former champion, the great brown bomber, still popular with the crowds, He's been installed a 17 to 5 favorite over Savold. Both these men old timers as far as the fight game goes. Lewis is 36 years old, Savold 35. Both have been fighting for about 16 years. So we're looking at 32 years of ring experience tonight. The end of round one. In the second round, Lewis continues to control the action with jolting left jabs and hard hooks to the body. Now round three of this 10-round heavyweight bout between former champion Joe Lewis, the Brown Bomber, and Lee Savold of New Jersey, the British Empire champion, here at Madison Square Garden, New York. Savold with a white stripe. Starting on his comeback trail, Lewis lost to champion Ezra Charles. But since that loss, he's had five fights and he's won them all. He's a far cry from the great fighting machine he was during his heyday as champion, but he can still hit hard with his famous left hook, and he still has that pile driver left jab. never been as hard a hitter as Lewis, but Lee is considered just about as good a boxer. The Bulls won 74 fights in his career, 53 by knockouts. He's lost 30, and he himself has been knocked out six times. The Bulls won the British Empire Heavyweight Championship June the 6th, 1950, in London by knocking out Bruce Woodcock. Bonvino of Italy in 54 seconds of the very first round. One of the quickest knockouts in all Madison Square Garden history. Lewis has been using his left jab with very good 
good effect tonight. He's also using his one-two and his other combinations, hitting Savold into the body with rights and lefts, and then coming up to the head. Savold's nose may be broken. Round three. In the fourth round, Lewis's hard smashes open up cuts on Savold's nose and mouth. Now here we are in round five. Lewis's great ambition is to win back his world's title, which he resigned March 1st, 1949. He wants to be the first ex-heavyweight champion in all history to regain that title. Corbett, Fitzsimmons, Jeffries, the great Jack Dempsey, none of them could win back their former championship. If Joe wins tonight, he's going to get another crack at Ezra Charles, the world's champion. Charles has promised to meet Joe again if Lewis beats the ball. to knock Savold out by the sixth round. This is the fifth. Joe hasn't much time left. Joe looks very good tonight best he's looked since he started his comeback. He's much faster than he's been, and his punching is very sharp. Hello, 
Albrights of old. And the referee warns him to keep him up. 